Hey guys, this is a manual for your iPad. So exactly how to use it. This is an iPad Pro, this is the bigger one. However, if you guys have the smaller one, it's gonna be the exact same instructions for both of them. And again, it doesn't matter what color you guys have, how many big gigs, it's gonna be the exact same tutorial for all of you. It's gonna be the same manual, how to use it. So let's just get started. If you guys wanna recover any pictures that you deleted from your iPad, it's pretty simple. Go back here. Then you're gonna go into recently deleted. From recently deleted, view album, put in your passcode, cause that's secure. And from here, you guys can recover anything just by tapping on select, select that one. Then you guys can select a few and recover all of them. Or if it's just one, just hold on to it and put recover. It's gonna go back to your library. So I can go back to my library and it's right there what I recovered. If you guys wanna recover everything, because you guys have my library, there's absolutely nothing. I can select them all, press down here below and recover every single one of these. So there we go, go back to library and they're there. Now let's say you guys don't want to recover, you guys want to go on and fully, fully, fully delete these guys. We're gonna delete them again. And I'm gonna show you that in recently deleted, that's where you guys really want to truly get rid of these pictures. Don't want any evidence left. <laughs> you guys are gonna go into select, select them all, go down here below and delete. Or you guys can always go on the top right hand side. So let me just focus in that better. Or you guys can just go into select and just select two of them if you guys wanna just delete two of them forever. So delete from this iPad. So down here below on the bottom right hand side, you guys can see delete this from this iPad and it's been deleted. So again, to fully delete any pictures, you guys do have to delete it from your trash bin. That way it's completely gone from your iPad. So it's not gonna be here and it's not gonna be under recently deleted because there's nothing left. So let's just get out of here. Other than that, I'm gonna show you Find My. Find My is really, really cool. You have to sign in. So remember to sign in and you always want your app to know where you're at. So you can track where you are at. Well, not you, but the iPad itself. So if it ever gets lost, stolen, you guys can track it down. You guys can lock it, blacklist it by turning this on. So make sure to turn it on. Now, if we take a look at your iTunes store, this is where all the good stuff happens. So are you guys gonna buy any music or listen to any music, there you go. Same goes with movies, all right? And you guys can go to TV shows as well. So this will give you the option to go to store. It's gonna direct you here so you guys can buy this. But it's very important to go here and that's because it's going to give you this option for purchases where you guys can look at all your purchases. Again, you have to be signed in. Besides that, you guys have your notes. This is something that I use a lot. So you guys can add any notes just by, go ahead, tap away, and start typing. Or if you guys wanna draw within here, you guys can also draw. You have an Apple Pencil, you guys can draw with that Apple Pencil as well, but you don't need an Apple Pencil, you guys can just draw yourselves. And then when you're done, just click away. You guys wanna add another note here. It's pretty easy. Just go on the top right hand corner. You will notice this, it's the farthest away option. And then you just add another note. You wanna add another note again on the top right hand side, another note. And those are my three notes that I created right now. If you guys wanna delete any of your notes, just slide. You guys are gonna see this, tap on it, delete. So again, to delete this, all I'm doing is sliding. I'm tapping right here on this icon, the garbage icon. It's gonna delete that. Same thing goes with this and delete it. So that's how you guys can add any notes and delete them. There's other options here as well. I'm just going a little bit more into it. Just play with it. You guys are just gonna notice what you guys can do. And lastly, we should take a look at your calendar. This is different than reminders. This is where you guys can go on and put in any major alarms that are gonna repeat themselves throughout your calendar year, such as birthdays and all that stuff. To add anything like that, see this plus sign? That's where you're gonna go. Type in birthday, for example. Then if it's a birthday or anything like that, you guys most likely will choose all day. And most likely you want an alert one day before. You can add a second alert two days before, one week before, or on the event, depends. Add it and it's being added. So that's how you guys can add any events to your calendars. You guys can also take these away just by holding onto it, delete, and it's been deleted from your calendar. 
So that's how you can delete or add anything to your calendar. And last but not least, to search for any apps, besides going all the way here and just looking at them, you guys can tap here and search for a specific app, such as books. So there you go, there's books, gonna find that. So that's for specifically for apps. And if you guys want to add any widgets to your screen, you guys can always just hold on. You guys are gonna see the plus sign on the top left hand side and add any widget you like. I'm just gonna do batteries for now. And there's my widget for batteries. That's if you guys wanna bring back any widgets into your home screen. Or you guys can move this as well. So edit home and then just move this to your secondary screen. It doesn't have to be in your home screen. It can be here. So there you go, that's the difference. So you guys can have your widgets there as well. Obviously you guys can delete this at any point in time just by holding on, minus sign, remove, done, or just click away and you're done. But anyways, this was a quick manual for your iPad. Doesn't really matter which iPad you guys have, this will apply for all of them. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.